Hello, I'm going to a Christmas party tonight. I wanted to do this holiday beautiful look. So if you would like to know how I did it, just watch. Okay guys, so I already started to do my makeup off camera. I applied foundation, concealer, and uh, I did my brows and set everything with powder. And now I'm gonna move to the eyes. I'm gonna use one of my favorite products from like 10 years ago. This is a paint pot by MAC. And I like to apply it with my finger because it's it gives me a really really fast application. Also I place some on the bottom lash line. This gives me really even and nice base on my eyelids so I can put any eyeshadow I want and be sure that everything is gonna last this technique i use pretty much for the soft makeup where i don't need to have vivid and bright colors on the crease i'm gonna be using really nice and soft color from laura mercier palette and this color is fresco i'm applying it right into the crease with soft squirrel brush Today I'm going to have really soft eye makeup because the accent will go on my lips. What I basically need in this makeup is to emphasize my shape of my eye and just to give it a little bit more dimension and just add a wing liner, lashes and then lips. The same color goes on bottom lash line. I'm placing it all over bottom lid. This will make my eyes look bigger. As you can see. You may connect in the corner or you may not. It's up to you. Using flat brush and hourglass soft highlighting powder, I will put some highlight under my brow then I'm going to the party and I don't want to look overdone anything will look good on the lid even just the highlighter for this look I will be using a Bobbi Brown highlighter which I really like and I will take from here not from here here I have more like a um, peachy color and I will just place it on my lid with my finger Look at this color. <laughs> I will use smaller brush and the same color just to go directly into my inner corner and bottom lash line. Now it's time to do eyeliner. I prefer to use cream, uh, creamy or gel eyeliner because I feel like I have more control using a brush. I'm gonna use in this kind of a brush for uh, eyeliner and this eyeliner by Inglot number 77. It's very soft and nice and it's gonna stay and it's gonna last you for a long time if you will close the jar after each time you take some from it okay let's go so for hooded eyes or eyes with small eyelids i would recommend to start exactly on the lid not from the tail because this is how you can control how thick the line will be in the end because when you have hooded eyes or eyes with small lids and you make the eyeliner really really thick on the lid it looks like you have really small eyes because it covers all the lid and your eyes will look even more hooded so it's better to have really a lot of control on the thickness of the eyeliner that you have so you start on the lid you make it as thick as you want or a little bit thinner and then you work with the tail then you pull the liner from the tail to the lid try to remove some unevenness of the eyeliner on the lid and then if you want you can make the tail even longer and eyeliner even thicker
in the inner corner I'm starting right inside of the eye and then going higher and higher step by step after I finish this I'm taking a lip brush really tiny fine brush uh, it doesn't have to be lip brush it can be any brush that you have and just pull the tail out to blend it really smoothly into the skin and make the end of the tail invisible and if needed just work on blending some unevenness on the eyeliner with the same brush now it's time to do some contouring if you would like um tutorial dedicated to contouring how to do it correct how professionals do it just comment below and i will try to do this kind of um tutorial. for blush i'm using top shop neutral pinky peachy shade i think it's ideal for uh, pale skin tone and light medium light skin tones really really pretty color and blends nicely and smoothly you can see it has no shimmer but it still doesn't give you a completely matte finish now when mascara on top lashes is dry completely i want to finish with my bottom lashes and bottom waterline so i'm gonna be using this kind of uh, beige uh, pencil for my waterline to make my eyes pop and look bigger and then i will apply mascara Now, the most interesting, I will do my red, beautiful lips. I will use a liner because I want to outline my lips, I want to make them bigger. So if I will go just with um, lipstick, it will be pretty difficult for me to do it really precise and even, especially when I do it on myself. When I do it on clients, I prefer to not use a pencil, but it depends on the situation anyway. So to have this line, the contour of your lips really even and perfect, use sharp, the sharpest pencil you have. Just sharpen it every moment. Also, I'm blending it a little bit inside. It's important when you will apply lipstick after, it will be easier for you to blend lipstick with a pencil. You're not gonna have just a thin line that will be difficult to match with. And I always prefer to start with lip corners. I look like a clown. Always check here, it's really important because when you do it like that, everything is pretty and then you come to the party and smile and everyone can see all. And I will go with one of my favorite lipstick by Lime Crime, it's metal actually and it looks really, really great on lips, especially for holiday season. What do you think? Oh, I forgot about highlighter. How could I? I'll use the same that I used for lip, uh, for eyes. And I will be really, really precise. Oh. 
actually I want my look to to be even more Christmassy so I just want to add this so this is the look and now you know how I did it and if you like it just like this video subscribe and comment below if you would like any interesting topic